Mm. And there was also um, something on the uh, the lunar module about the the satellite data that was coming back, the navigation data that overloaded. You yeah, the guidance computer. Yes, the uh, there were a couple of alarms which were in fact overloads, and and the software had to do a, a restart of the of the computer. Um, I, there was some discussion at the time about what caused this, and I only realized two years ago in a, watching a movie called In the Shadow of the Moon, which uh, a British, produ British production company produced, uh, in which uh, Buzz Aldrin was interviewed, and he admitted that he was to blame because he said, uh, we did know it, it was caused by a, an extra radar being on, an unnecessary radar being switched on. This, this was a radar that would be used when they were returning to the orbiting command module a couple of days later. But Orton said uh, in the movie, in the interview, he said, I was so, I, I, we realized we needed that uh, radar, a rendezvous radar it was called, to work. So I made sure it was on all the time so it, it, we knew it was going to work on the way back. But, of course, it, that was what caused the overload in the computer, having this extra data unexpectedly uh, being uh, received by the computer. So Aldrin, at least in his own mind, claims responsibility, if you like, for that uh, overload. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that does seem, and, and I've read a little bit about it, talked to some of the, um, the people who worked on that, on that software at MIT, and they, they, they agree that it was the rendezvous radar which caused the overload although they weren't so sure that it was Alden himself who, who did it, but he claims it was. So.